So, a few weeks ago, I had a great idea. I thought, what if there was a robot that made you stand on Lego? I know, pure genius. Why would I make this? I don't know. Let's build it. So, I started with some CAD. Look at that bad boy. Now I just need to put these into Cura and then get them 3D printed. Now before I assemble these, I just need to say somewhere along the design process, I thought it would be a good idea to test which Lego brick hurt the most to stand on. By the way, for reference, it was this one. So if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in a while, it's probably because I'm doing important things like that. Anyway, back to the video. So now I can put all this together. Let me show you how it works. So you take one of these and it's a two by four. So I know it's not the most painful, but I'm not a monster, and you load it in there. And then this gear pulls a plunger back, which is pulled by an elastic band. When it's back far enough, a Lego piece can then drop into the chamber, at which point the gear section without teeth has been reached, and which allows the plunger to fire back into the chamber, starting the cycle again and firing the Lego brick out. It's functional, sort of, but not very powerful. So let's see how many rubber bands I can put on it. Now, I'm not going to use this many rubber bands for the actual test because I don't want Lego embedded in the side of my feet. But while they're on, let's see how they perform. I'm getting distracted again. I need to make this thing track my feet so that it can slide Lego pieces underneath it. Important stuff. So, in terms of the tracking, I'm using the same webcam that I used for my Nerf gun video. For the software, again I'm using Python and OpenCV. I was having some trouble tracking my feet, so I just put on a pair of red socks, did some colour detection and then... Boring! Shut up, nerd! Bottom line is it works. Mostly. So, I call that a success. Now I get to test it on myself. So let's see if it works with just me standing still. Let's see if it can handle me moving about. Okay, I like it, but it's missing something. Name any more rounds, because six just isn't quite enough. So give me a second while I go and design and print an upgrade. That looks ridiculous. Now it can fit. Um, I don't know. Hang on a second. Seventeen pieces, which is crazy. It's perfect. So for the final test, I'm just going to see how long I can survive, and then I'm done because my poor feet need rest. This was a bit of a stupid idea, so if you got this far, thanks for watching. Thank you for all the support and for reaching a thousand subscribers. Um, my next video is going to be a bit more chill and hopefully less painful. Uh, in the meantime, go watch this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.